Good morning, everybody. It's your favorite aspiring revolutionary here, a wandering author reminding you that we are all the authors of our lives. As always, my message remains the same. Spend less, live more, earn your freedom with frugality. I have a interesting one coming up with you guys tomorrow about the psycho-spiritual battle that our culture is facing and why depression rates have tripled within the last 40 years. Um, but I need some time in order to go in-depth on that one um, to prepare some quality material. Today I'm going to continue my examination of the nature of wealth and power and its tendency to concentrate by speaking about the Gracchi brothers, some of the original populist leaders, true men of the people, how they were killed. <laughs> to touch back on the um, psycho-spiritual battle facing our culture, just to give you a little uh, spoiler, it's consumerism. That right there is why the meaninglessness of consumerism and consumer culture. It's really bringing a lot of people down. <laughs> and that's actually why the whole spend less, live more thing even started in the first place, because this is meaningful to me. And uh, it's a nice, refreshing change of pace. Now, to go back to the Roman topic and how that relates to power, wealth, and its tendency to concentrate, Yesterday, I discussed the Punic Wars and the end of those and how that established Rome as the uncontested superpower of the Mediterranean. Um, similar to what the United States experienced following World War II. <clears throat> now, immediately in the eras that followed, Rome went from being a very simple people, or composed of very simple people, small farmers, small landowners, to being dominated by the senatorial elite. And then the next class is the equites, or the knights. Uh, these people ended up controlling the vast majority of everything. And similar to what we saw in the United States over the last four or five decades with outsourcing, Rome had an issue where they imported tons and tons of slaves that did not benefit the average person. It actually drove their wages down because they could, like, the, the people who owned, like, the businesses could just use slave labor for cheaper. Kind of like outsourcing stuff today. <laughs> Anyways, this state of affairs continued until after the first, second, and third servile wars where there were slave uprisings. Uh, that's where we remember Spartacus. Um, I'm sure most of you guys are familiar with that name at least. Uh, so, eventually... Things became untenable within the Republic, and it was very obvious to most of the people who lived there. And into that fold, the Gracchi brothers stepped. I've mentioned Tiberius Gracchus before. He is the son of Tiberius Impronius Gracchus, who served in the Punic Wars and earned himself a triumph. A man who became a distinguished plebeian. So this is a guy who came from the working class, right? He eventually became the tribune of the plebs, kind of like the Speaker of the House today, except with the ability to bypass the Senate. And he proposed some mild reforms of the agrarian laws. Basically, he wanted to create a cap on how much land any one senator could own. And then he would redistribute some of the land that he took from the public land, the Agar Publicus, to the other um, like lower class folks, right? Now this would have... Uh, actually solved some of the issues that they had been facing. But what happened is after Tiberius became the, the tribune of the plebs, and he actually passed his laws, the Pontifex Maximus, upon the order of the Senate, just killed him. Um, they weren't going to have it. Now, he reminds me a ton of, like, Kennedy, somebody who kind of was from the upper fold and who really was trying to... Uh, improve the general lot of his people and then the power elite of his society killed him um it's kind of funny what happened to kennedy in our culture now so nothing got resolved the plebeians were still poor and that state of affairs continue on for another nine years until tiberius's brother gaius gracchus stepped up and he was even more radical um Gaius came in there and he actually began redistributing some of the wealth and he instituted a subsidized grain doll so that way like the poor people in the city could survive. Again, shortly after he actually passed some reforms, Senate killed him. Um, and that sets the stage for what we'll start talking about on Monday, which is Marius and Sola, 
the first civil war of the Republic, and the true conflict between the populists, the populares in their time, and the optimates, which were two different political classes. Um, again, as always, my message remains the same. Spend less, live more, earn your freedom with frugality. And this uh, is another edition of our study of the nature of power and wealth and its tendency to concentrate. Uh, what are you guys doing in order to lift up your community? Because you're watching me, and this world isn't going to change unless we all do our part.